Hey everybody. So I've got the Goldie box set up and uh, all ready to run. You can see it's nice and level. Nice little spot tucked away close to the area we're going to be working right there. Here's my battery pack that I built. That's a 14 volt uh, 4S battery pack, basically 16.8 fully charged. I'm running a 2,000 gallon pump over volted. Uh, and that pack I built will last roughly four hours or so with that pump. That's about a 28 amp hour pack. And you can see we've got ample water flow. This will be great. We've got our custom silicone matting. We've got our drop trap with custom matting up top. We've got our 3D printed. Uh, this is in lieu of expanded metal down here. And uh, we're going to rock and roll. Okay, so I got the first bucket filled. You see, I dug out that little boiler hole in the bedrock. Hopefully, there'll be some uh, color in there. I'm assuming it's been worked before, but maybe over the years, some more flood gold has found its way in there. But uh, I'm going to work my way all the way up and under there today. And that's the bucket of material I just dug. And the Goldie box is waiting to eat it. So, I'm going to set up the camera and we're going to run it. just how racks and active all these ripples are. Just processing everything. Got the really big rock. I think that's slightly bigger than half inch opening. So we're not going to lose any gold. And that top blade is working really, really good. I printed my version of expanded metal, and it seems to be working really well. Yeah, I can hammer through this bucket. No problem. I wish I had more than one bucket. But I designed this with this shovel in mind. These little miner shovels. Uh, this was the optimal size shovel that I've settled on over the years that I take with me. And you can see that the high banker deck is about the same size, whether you go sideways or lengthwise. I can go that way, or I can go this way. But either way, everything's getting super clean. So, anyway, this is the Goldie Box high banker. About a couple thousand hours of testing. Each part has probably been iterated at least five or six times. Catches a lot of gold. And I'll show you what the flow looks like coming off the back. I'll 
check my tailing. And I've run this all day in a pile in the back in a this size opening classifier. I'm not losing anything. And I've run my tailings off the back. And I found time to time some small flower. But this will catch a hundred mesh custom silicone matting. And I'm going to go ahead and show that to you. But that's a bucket. Nice and easy. I'll show you what the flow is like. You can see I have this kind of right here, this replicates expanded metal. And you can see all the stuff dancing around in the ripples. Everything's exchanging. And there's nothing caught up up here. There's nothing caught up up here. So that's the Goldie Box. I'm going to go ahead and run a lot more material and we'll do a clean out at the end of the day. But I'm going to get to it. Thanks.